Welcome back to the RAS, ACS, and Behind the Knife journal cast on landmark papers in surgery. I'm Teresa Halley, a general surgery resident from Cape Fear Valley Medical Center, and I will be briefly reviewing the landmark Stop It trial, a randomized controlled trial investigating antibiotic duration for intra-abdominal infections, published in the New England Journal of Medicine in May 2015. Complicated intra-abdominal infections are a common problem encountered worldwide. While recommendations for appropriate antimicrobial agents are based on high-quality evidence, the appropriate duration of antibiotic therapy is not known and currently based on expert opinion or individual surgeon practice. Traditionally, antibiotic therapy continues until markers of the systemic inflammatory response, or SIRS, have resolved typically 7 to 14 days. The purpose of the Stop It trial was to evaluate whether a short fixed course of antibiotic therapy after source control would result in similar treatment success compared to the traditional strategy. The study was designed as a randomized open-label trial at 23 sites throughout the U.S. and Canada over a five-year period. The primary outcome was a composite of surgical site infection recurrent intra-abdominal infection, or death, which was evaluated at 30-day follow-up. Patients included in the study presented with complicated intra-abdominal infection, with fever, leukocytosis, or GI dysfunction causing inability to consume more than 50% of their regular diet, as an indicator of ileus, and had undergone an intervention to achieve source control. Source control procedures can include either surgical intervention or percutaneous drainage. A total of 518 patients were randomly assigned in a one-to-one -one ratio to the experimental group who received four full days of antibiotic therapy or to the control group who received antibiotics until two days after resolution of SIRS or ileus for a maximum of 10 days duration. Groups were well matched for demographics, comorbidities, index illness severity, and interventions performed. There was no significant difference in the primary endpoint, which occurred in 22.3% of the control group compared to 21.8% of the experimental group. When the components of the primary endpoint were evaluated individually, there was no significant difference between rates of these complications occurring in the two study groups. Secondary outcome analyses revealed median antibiotic administration was eight days for the control group, which was twice as long as the experimental group, which had a median duration of four days. The median antimicrobial free days at 30-day follow-up was 21 for the control group and 25 for the experimental group, which was statistically significant. Authors of this study conclude that in patients who have undergone a successful source control procedure, a fixed four-day course of antibiotics had similar outcomes compared to traditional longer-duration antibiotic therapy and is also associated with significantly fewer days of antibiotic exposure. This is a clinically relevant study addressing antibiotic stewardship. Long durations of antibiotics not only put patients at risk to side effects, but also contribute to bacterial resistance. This is a high-quality randomized control trial that supports the use of short, fixed duration of antibiotics after source control in complicated intra-abdominal infections. I'm Teresa Halley, a general surgery resident at Cape Fear Valley Medical Center. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach me by email at thalley at capefearvalley.com. Thanks for listening.